what is up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is blaze kev reacts blaze kev kev kevin kev all that stuff i think i'm pretty sure i said kev twice whatever you would like to call me by is fine by me today guys i am going to be reacting to yuju's very first mini album her debut mini album titled wreck and i'm going to be listening to bad blood cold winter the killer and blue nostalgia and if you guys have not already, feel free to watch my reaction to play. I already reacted to that. Um, I don't want to spoil anything about it, but I will just say that it's what I expected from her debut. But actually, after listening to it, it made me just... I fell in love with it. And I think it's an amazing, amazing song. If you guys would like, I would really appreciate it if you like this video. If you do like it, <laughs> subscribe if you would like to because I have content coming out all the time. I have been posting more consistently than I ever have before and I'm very 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 proud of sticking to this schedule so yeah feel free to do whatever you guys would like and with that being said let's listen to Bad Blood first which is the intro of the Wreck album and I also do just want to say real quick I am a buddy of course and Yuju is actually my bias from G Friend was is whatever and um this debut is, means so much to me as it means to a lot of other people and I am just as hyped to be reacting to the VV's Beam of Prism. Oh my god, now I can say Beam of Prism now that we know what the um, mini album is going to be called. I'm going to be reacting to all of that stuff so buddies, non-buddies, feel free to stick along because we have a lot to be going through starting February now. Judging by the titles of these songs and listening to how, you know, hearing play, Definitely feel like this song is gonna have very, um, hmm. if I could think of one word, I'm gonna say emotional lyrics. Doesn't have to mean emotional, like dramatic, doesn't have to be sad, all that stuff, just emotional. Just a very raw album. Okay, Bad Blood starting in three, two, one. The Boki Chai, the silence. Wow. Oh my god, this sounds like it could have been the intro to the Song of Sirens album with Apple. Perhaps bad blood or what happened to G Friend? Probably. Ooh. I really oh that's a great part. I really like this. That really sounded like it could have been like the song right before Apple, honestly. Love that. I kind of wish it was like a whole song. I think it would have been great. Okay, guys, next we are reacting to the next song, which is going to be Cold Winter featuring Mad Clown. Really nice that Yuju already has a feature on her debut album. That's always nice to see. It's not really uncommon these days, but I was wondering who, if she did have a feature, who it would be. So yeah, we're probably gonna, this is, I heard that this is gonna be like, gonna be like a speaking rap, like soft rap song, so. Hyped to hear this one. Cold winter. Three, two, one. Oh, I could I could listen to her sing all day, honestly. I am so obsessed with intros of songs that just have like a long instrumental before they get in the song.
I'm enjoying the tempo of this song. Usually I like faster songs, but I like that she's giving like breaks in between all of the verses. That piano's amazing. Don't you can pull the Personal preference, you guys, if you're not new, you must have heard of this in my other song, in my other videos. I just like girls singing alone. As I mentioned in my video, I'm not, I'm not a boy group stand, guys. Like I do listen to some boy group songs here and there, like NCT, um, only one of um bts but i like if i find the song that's nice i'll listen to it but just in general i'm just more attracted to girls voices and i lean more towards 99.9% .9 of the time i lean towards girls voices um with mad clown in that it kind of almost sounded like an epic high song if you guys don't know the group they're an older they've been around for a while now and they make a lot of different types of songs usually like more emotional songs and i actually really like epic high so i think that was a good song to me with him being in that because it reminded me of a like epic high emotional song but if it could just be yuju by herself i would have loved that just personal preference personal preference don't crucify me next guys we are going to be listening to the killer which i also know is called tequila so let's get into this now the killer starting in three two one. Loving the use of the instruments in this album, especially the guitar and piano.
Oh, the way she said Valentine this time. That can give me chills. to go guys last song on this really really great album honestly really really great debut album she showed off everything that she has to her asset so far but i think that it's going to be hard to beat the killer i really really like that like the killer and play are definitely my favorite so far i really loved that rap she had right after the first chorus like she mentioned because i watched the jesse schultz review that yuju was in go watch that if you haven't she, she <laughs> My girl knows how to be an entertainer, of course. And um, I just genuinely love that little part that she sang of it. And after hearing it in the actual song, like, it was so good. So, so good. Okay, guys, let's wrap this album up. We have a Blue Nostalgia left and we are done. Love the titles of these songs, by the way. Bad Blood, Cold Winter, Blue Nostalgia, The Killer. Like, just, I, I, I just like nice sounding titles, you know, just, it's just catchy. Blue Nostalgia in 3, 2, 1. Lots of guitar in this album. Like, guitar feels like it was used in almost every single song. Sing 
this live, I feel like she would definitely make a crowd cry easily. That song was absolutely beautiful. It was... Oh. Okay, so let me start off by saying that traditionally, I'm not really into ballads or slower songs. As I've said in my other videos, I am more into like hype, fast-paced songs, all that type of stuff. I just like more energy. But in this case, when it's my bias, one of my main biases out of like all my girl groups, and for it to be such a special debut album and to know the history behind her, her life, her group, her soul, every, just everything. It's, it, all those rules about me and my preferences go out the roof because then suddenly I totally am into this genre of music. Like, meaning if I listen to a ballad by one group, okay, if it's like beautiful, I'll like it. But if I don't really resonate with it, I just won't. But in this case, with all of these songs, I definitely, definitely did. And I think that Blue Nostalgia was definitely a great ending song to the rest of this album because it felt like there was like you know how on the rec album itself you'll see it has like a gauge like a red to blue i feel like it goes from like highest intensity to lowest intensity especially like with like the names like cold winter blue nostalgia blue like just super creative super super creative and i feel like this was like the chillest slowest song compared to bad blood and how like strong it was and how intimidating it was this was just very soft and just gentle and made me emotional to be honest it really did this whole album really did but especially that song and even um the killer just to like well actually not the killer as much because the lyrics were different but let's just say that each song had its own Every song definitely had its own like theme and element to it and I really appreciated this album and I think it was an amazing mini album like Yuju was not like I said in my play reaction she is not oblivious to everything that has happened to G friend and you know just so many changes happening so I feel like this whole album needed to just be an ode to a new fresh start to her fans possibly to you know we don't know really like lo um idols love lives sometimes they just make love songs but like what i'm trying to say is like potential lovers you never know like their lives are none of our business so just a lot of motion in this album and i absolutely enjoyed it and i would love to know what you guys thought of it as well i am so 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 happy that yuju finally established herself as a soloist I mean, she's already been a soloist before this. She was always doing, like, features and stuff. But now she's, like, a full-on soloist. So I cannot wait to see what her next comeback is going to be like. I cannot see what new concepts she's going to tackle. I'm hoping that maybe now it'll be more of a lighter air. More of, like, a happier atmosphere. I hope she feels more comfortable now knowing that she can do this. She is well-equipped to be a soloist, you know, to release any sort of music that she wants to and that she's able to, especially under such a nice company like Connect Entertainment. I just wish her all the best. I love her so much. You, Drew, you will never watch this video, but if you were to, I just wanted to let you know that I am proud of you. Everyone is proud of you, and I love you so much much my Chue yuna i love you so much with that being said guys i really hope you enjoyed this video like i said at the start of it if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe i'm going to be releasing all the time as i said with my new schedule so yeah really hope to see you guys in the future and thank you thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you made it to the end i appreciate it more than you know take care guys and i'll see you in the next one bye